I feel better about that. I am worried that it's gonna fall over on top of me, but what are you gonna do? Hey, LSAT games. Let's knock out another one. This is the third game from the third section of the February 1992 LSAT, Prep Test 4, known as. And I just wanna jump right in. A street cleaning crew works only Monday to Friday and only during the day. It takes the crew an entire morning or an entire afternoon to clean the street. So right away, I'm reasonably sure this is what we call a two-dimensional order setup. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And on each of these days, we only work in either the morning or the afternoon. And so we're gonna go AM over PM. And then we're gonna be placing the elements from there. It takes the clue, crew an entire morning or an entire afternoon to clean a street. During one week, wait, am I recording? Always gotta be sure. During one week, the crew cleaned exactly eight streets. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So those are obviously our elements. A Little bit weird for numbers to be elements, but not that strange. The following is known about the crew's schedule for the week. The crew cleaned no street on Friday morning. Okay, so one thing you notice right away is that we have 10 spaces in this game, but only eight elements. It could be that we reuse an element that we end up cleaning a street more than once. I don't think, well, it doesn't specify that in the setup, but um, I think in a second we're gonna find out that that's not possible because what they're going to do is essentially require that we end up having two blank spaces. So again, we had 10 spaces, for eight elements makes sense that they would require two blank spaces because now everything's gonna be filled up and every street and every street gets cleaned exactly once. So I think that's what's happening here. Uh, the crew cleaned no street on Friday morning. So I'm just gonna put a big X there. No street on Friday morning. The crew cleaned no street on Wednesday afternoon. So there we have it. Now we have eight spaces for our eight elements. Very good. It cleaned 4th Street on Tuesday morning. Okay, favorite kind of clue. We can immediately put 4th Street on Tuesday morning. It cleaned 7th Street on Thursday morning. Uh, so if you watched the last video where we did the second game of this section, this is definitely easier than that game. You for sure would have wanted to skip that second game. It was a grouping game where we could reuse the elements, move ahead to this order game where not only is it essentially one-to-one, -one, we now have eight elements for eight available spaces in the week, but they're also just giving us tons of information. Two-dimensionality two can sometimes be a little bit weird, but I'm not anticipating it's gonna be a problem here. Seventh Street was on Thursday morning. Whoops, I put it on Thursday afternoon definitely don't do things like that. And then it cleaned 4th Street before 6th Street and after 8th Street. So 8 dot 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 4 dot 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 6. Let's make sure we got that order right. 4th Street before 6th Street but after 8th Street. Yes. It cleaned 2nd, 5th, and 8th Streets on afternoons. So 2, 5, and 8 have to go on an afternoon. Okay, uh, as far as deductions go, there should be some good ones here. The only way for 8 to be on an afternoon and before 4th Street is if it's Monday afternoon. So right now, 4, 7, and 8 are already done. They're just five elements that we're actually moving around here. 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. Uh, we know that 6 can't go before 4. Now it could be... I was hoping maybe we could figure out it can't be on Tuesday afternoon either, but that's not actually true. So it could be Tuesday afternoon and then definitely Wednesday or later, and six is fine. We know otherwise we're eight and four are, so that order clue actually doesn't end up helping us that much. Two and five are still remaining and have to be on an afternoon somewhere. One seems like kind of a free agent, could go anywhere morning, afternoon, early in the week, later in the week. It's our least restricted element here. I'm not seeing any other deductions based on this information. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the questions. Number 12 is a specific question. It's not really uh, this kind of pick a clue and eliminate an answer choice based on that clue style question that we usually like to look for first, but it's specific. We can jump in with number 12. Yeah, let's go ahead and do 12 first. So we want to make sure and jot down our setup with what we already know. 4, 8, nothing, 
seven, nothing. Uh, if the crew cleaned Second Street earlier in the week than Seventh Street, so two dot 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 seven, then it must have cleaned which of the following streets on Tuesday afternoon. So we're interested in Tuesday afternoon in particular. Well, if two came before seven, oh gosh, if two came before seven and two has to be an afternoon street, where's the only place we can put Second Street? It's got to be Tuesday afternoon, right? So that's it. There's not really worth doing much else. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. Can we place anything else for sure? Five is going to go either here or here, but we don't know which one for sure. One, again, as our free agent can kind of go anywhere. Six at this point would have to be either Wednesday or Thursday. Actually, that's not true could also be Friday afternoon. So six could go anywhere. So we can't actually get that much more done here. If we could, it would be worth jotting down because there may be a general question later on where we could use that information. But again, in this case, we're pretty much done. Let's move ahead to number 13. If the crew cleaned 6th Street on a morning and cleaned 2nd Street before 7th Street, then which, uh, what is the maximum number of streets whose cleaning times cannot be determined? Interesting question. OK, so again, first of all, let's bring down what we know for sure. 2 dot 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 7, we actually already know that that ends up meaning 2 has to be on Tuesday afternoon. So that part, that 2nd Street goes before 7th Street, we've actually already figured out. If it does 6th Street on a morning now, that means for sure 6th Street has to be Wednesday morning. Because again, 6 cannot be on Monday, can't go before 4th Street. Uh, that means that 5 could go in either of the two remaining afternoons. 1 is our free agent, could always go anywhere. And then what street are we missing? Do we know much about 3? I guess three is also kind of a least restricted element. I didn't notice that before, but as I look at the clues again, yeah, both one and three can kind of end up going anywhere. So either of the two of them could go on Monday morning, but then also either of the two of them could go, you know, flip-flopping between Thursday and Friday afternoon with Fifth Street. So I think the only ones we know for sure are one, two, three, four, for five of the streets. Uh, what is the maximum number of streets whose cleaning times oh cannot be determined? OK, so the other three, right? Either one or three, five going somewhere. And so that's going to be answer choice C on number 13. Um, 14 is a general question, so we're going to skip that. 15, though, if the crew cleaned 1st Street earlier in the week than 3rd Street, which one of the following statements must be false? OK, N uh, pretty standard to have these least restricted elements from the setup and the clues that then pop up in a specific question. So now they are telling us something about both 1st and 3rd Street. Namely, 1st is supposed to go before 3rd. So let's jot down again what we know every time. 8th Street, 4th Street, nothing. 7th Street, nothing. And for 15, if we know 1 goes before 3, what can we say? Well, 3 obviously can't go there. 1 can't go last. Um, 2 and 5 are still bopping around the afternoons somewhere. 6 just has to be later than 4. Doesn't feel like that's that much information. Which one of the following statements must be false? The crew cleaned 1st Street on Tuesday afternoon. That certainly seems possible. Like I could just put 1 there, 2 and 5 would be afternoons. Oh, oh. that's kind of a problem, isn't it? So 6 has to go later than 4. But 3 can't go before 1st Street. So actually, if we put 1st Street on Tuesday afternoon, I think we don't end up with room for 3 or 6, depending on whichever one we placed first. Yeah, actually, that's our must be false. Well, that's nice. It's always nice for that to come first when we're having to try out answer choices. All right, one more specific question. 17, you'll notice, changes the rules of the game. And so we always do those last. 16, though, if the crew cleaned 5th, 6th, and 7th streets in numerical order, so basically 5, dot, 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 6, dot, dot, 7. I don't know if that means they have to be back to back to back. Then what is the maximum number of different schedules, any one of which the crew could have had for the entire week? 
I'm going to try and do it first without having them back to back to back because I'm not really sure that we're supposed to beyond just making sure they're in that order. Um, and we'll see maybe what ends up happening. Uh, so again, first of all, let's bring down what we know. Yeah, actually, I don't even think we don't have three open slots back to back to back where five, six, seven could even go. So that's definitely not what they meant. They just mean that five, six, seven have to go in that order. Um, five has to be an afternoon. And if we put five as late as Thursday afternoon, that's a problem. Oh, wait, no, seven's there. So that's not allowed anyway. Yeah, the only afternoon we could put five in is right off the bat on Tuesday afternoon, and then six would have to go Wednesday morning, nothing goes Wednesday afternoon, and then seven would be next. So that is the proper order for five, six, and seven. Now between one, three, and two, I think it's basically the same scenario as 13. They just switched out where five went. And so that means there should be, gosh, how many possible schedules? Two is gonna have to go somewhere over here. So it could be like one, two, three, but it could just as easily be three, two, one. So that's two different schedules. But then also two could flip flop with Friday afternoon. And so I think we could do these same two schedules, but with two on Friday afternoon instead. So that's four possible schedules. A little math that we had to do there. Two times two is four people. I'm kind of running out of room here. I guess what I'll do is just kind of jot down a quick uh, other scenario here, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Suppose the crew had cleaned 4th Street on Tuesday afternoon instead of on Tuesday morning, but all the other conditions remained the same. Which of the following statements could be false? Okay, so let's think through what happens in that case. We still know that nothing Friday morning, nothing Wednesday afternoon. Nothing Wednesday afternoon, nothing Friday morning. We still know, well now 4th Street is Tuesday afternoon, not Tuesday morning. So 4th would have to go Tuesday afternoon. 7th Street is still Thursday morning, so that's not different. 8th, 4th Street is before 6th, but after 8th. Again, 8th still has to be on an afternoon. 2, 5, and 8 still have to be afternoons. So now we know that 2 and 5 are going to alternate. And then 6 has to be later than 4, but there's only one space for that. So now 6 has to be Wednesday morning. And then those two least restricted elements, three and one, are going to flip-flop between Monday and Tuesday mornings. All right, which of the following statements could be false? So basically, we will eliminate anything that must be true, anything we just saw in that diagram. The crew cleaned first street before second street. That is definitely true, so we're going to cross that off. The crew cleaned second street before fifth street. Maybe, maybe not, right? That's the answer. That could be false. All right, one last question, the only general question here, number... 14. What is the maximum possible number of streets, any one of which could be the one the crew cleaned on Friday afternoon? Well, we have so far seen... You want to be careful about reusing this specific scenario, but obviously we've seen 2 and 5, so for sure that's okay. So it could be 2, could be 5. Over here, it could have been 1, could have been 3. So that's already 4 streets. And so it's either four or five. Is there something else that could have gone in that last slot? Couldn't it be six sometimes? Couldn't we have had six over there? Like on 13, why did six have to go? Yeah, it's specified on 13 that six had to be a morning, but there's no special reason it has to be. I think six could easily be Friday afternoon. So I'm gonna say that that means it must be E. All right, so what are we looking at here? B, C, E, A, D, B. 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 We got it. We did it. Well done to us. Uh, you don't always get every single question right. I mean, I do, but not everybody does. Great work. Uh, definitely an easier game than the last one. The last one was not super difficult. So if you check out that last video, I'll, I'll try to remember to put the card up here. But if you check out Prep Test 4 Game 2, it wasn't a super difficult game, but it was more difficult than this game. And you always want to be working these in order from easiest to hardest, within reason. You don't want to spend a ton of time figuring out that order. The gradations are not super important. But if possible, you want to work the games in order from easiest to most difficult. So I... I think I would have skipped that second game and gotten to this third game. Uh, order game, two-dimensionality, yes, can be a little bit weird, but beyond that, not terribly difficult. 
and then you go from there. You set up your diagram, you represent your clues, come up with deductions, jump into the questions. That's the process every time. I'm going through these games one at a time, one day at a time, uh, like a silver centrum vitamin for the elderly. And if there's a game you'd like me to move up in the order, I am happy to do it. Just comment down below and let me know. Otherwise, I will see y'all next time.